Hi guys, David Guest here. Today's growth hack is going to be talking about how you can make sure you get the most out of next year, 2021. You know, one of the things that's really important in growing a business is having a great vision. Just finished reading an awesome book on the topic. It's uh, called Vivid Vision. Uh, the guy who wrote it is Cameron Herald, just up on the screen there. Cameron Herald, a remarkable tool for aligning your business around a shared vision of the future. In this book, he talks about a few key points, one of them being that most people use a vision statement, which is a very summarized way of explaining what your business is all about. Cameron suggests in this book that you need a five page vision statement so you can share your picture of the future. Now he talks about three year goals. Normally when we work with business clients, we talk about having a five year vision. And his view of it is you need to take a time machine five years forward, or three years forward in his book, and you need to have a picture of what your business will look like in every single detail at that moment in time, considering that everything goes according to plan. So my business tip for today is pretty simple. I need you to either grab the book and understand the outline or literally take a pen and paper, find a tree to sit under, future pace yourself five years or three years into the future and start describing what your business will look like in every sort of aspect. So we're talking about what the team looks like, what the building looks like, who are your clients, how many clients do you have, what's important to them, what is the culture of that business and really start thinking about fleshing out this picture to create a vivid vision of your future. Because once you have that document, then you can use that to actually talk to people about your business. Now that includes prospective clients, partners, even employees. But the thing I learned out of this is that sometimes we create this vision of the future within a business, but we don't use it as a tool to grow our business. We don't use it as a tool to share information with our prospects, to share information with our potential team members. So get to work on your vivid vision for your business. And he's got some great examples on his website of how you can do this. We're creating our own internal vision, vivid, vivid vision, can't even say it, right now. And we're going to be using that as a tool moving forward so we can share the journey of what we're building um, with all of our clients, our prospects, our partners, and anyone who wants to work within our organization. So go forth, create your vision, enjoy the process, make sure you take time out of the office to do it, and uh, create a wealth of abundance in your future. Uh, thanks for listening. Look forward to hearing about your vivid vision.